you're watching Fried Eyes. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Alright, well this is a little bit out of left field. It's both an AV video, a radio comms video, and undoubtedly, while we're talking about my 80 series Land Cruiser, all wrapped into one video. I said it was out of left field. Now, if you're a four-wheel driver or you like to go touring, undoubtedly you have some form of UHF radio, be it a 40 or 80 channel radio, what have you. Now, as we know, I was supposed to get another UHF radio, but it never arrived. And uh, I ended up borrowing uh, from the other house father uh, his spare GME. Well, unfortunately, that's now gone south as well, along with my UHF antenna. So, luckily, the other half's father has come to my rescue. And uh, I haven't shown you this yet, but, uh, well, it's an upcoming project. It is sort of audio. It's sort of radio. It's sort of RF. And it's for my 80 series Land Cruiser. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Fridays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech and we're doing a AV slash radio slash com slash 80 series video all wrapped into one video. Makes sense in my head. Everyone else is sitting there going, I've got no idea what Old Mate's talking about. He's confused me. Okay. Bit of history. We know that old two-way of mine finally gave out. I was supposed to get another two-way, it never arrived. Then the air, my main two-way UHF aerial gave out. Did a bit of a bodge repair, borrowed the other half's father's old GME 40 channel. That's now not working. So the other half's father has come to my rescue again with another radio and a good GME aerial. Now, unfortunately at the moment, we can't fit it because I've got to get some mods done, but I haven't actually shown you the two-way radio or the aerial yet. And I thought, well, it's audio. It's for my 80 series. And hopefully next week we'll get it fitted. But in the meantime, I thought it's best I actually give you guys a bit of a sticky beak at it because, well, I've got to do something about it because I've got a project coming up in the next couple of weeks that's going to require me to have a two-way radio. And for you radio operators, old mate is technically joining the radio community but I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be doing until I've got everything sorted out but anyway so let's have a sticky beak at my two, new two-way radio aerial uh, two-way radio aerial no let's have a sticky beak at my new two-way UHF radio and a proper UHF aerial from one of my trusted radio brands all right, so what I've got here, this is my new two-way. This is a Uniden UH-012 40-channel UHF with microphone. Now, this mic doesn't change the channels from the top. Um, everything's got to be done from the front end, so volume and everything, although it does have a squelch function in it, which is lucky. That's mine. Standard aerial power and obviously our auxiliary speaker out, which I'm not using. So that's mine permanently. And I also got, which I desperately need, a proper, you can see it there, a proper GME aerial. Now I don't have the whip antenna for it, I've got the full length antenna as you can see. Unfortunately though, I've got to put a new end on it. I have bought a new end soldering iron and crimping tool for it. Um, obviously I'll have to strip this back and clean it up and start again. And the other thing I've got to do is take this mount off and take that bolt off so I can get the mount off so that I can put this onto my bull bar mount. Um, and we're going to be doing this next week. Um, I'm in Bendigo next week so we'll be doing it next week. 
and uh, I'm hoping my little whip antenna which is the short one fits this mount uh, in theory it should but I'm not sure so this is the full length this one's a lot more solid right and you can see there the coil is much longer than my original one so well, the, I should say the inductor coil anyway it is a proper GME aerial all right it's not one of the cheap nasty ones it's got a good strong spring so especially if you're out in the bush so that's all mine and uh, I'm gonna be fitting this next week I'm happy to have this it fits in my original mount which is even better um, and of course my microphone holder behind the steering wheel that will fit it as well so there we are my new two-way for the 80 series and uh, I have measured the cable the cable is the aerial cable is going to be long enough uh, even with me cutting it down and of course obviously leaving plenty of um, uh, strain relief in the system um, so I'll probably end up cutting it here and uh, um, cleaning all this up because as you can see it's pretty ragged I mean have a look at it you can see it's pretty nasty so we'll clean all that up we'll make it look better and uh, if I can find my bag of bits hang on a tick found my bag of bits as you can see I went to a uh, very dangerous store for old mate there it is there J car here in Geelong so managed to get this pretty cheap just a cheap seven dollar soldering iron um, finally got my hands on a proper set of crimpers because remember I've said in the past my soldering iron and crimpers were all nicked by some people and then some solder and a new end for the uh, for the um, input of the two way you can see it's an open ended one so I'd have a solder on the end and that'll get that uh, all sorted out nicely I probably could run my old end here as in cut the end off put it in and then screw the old end into here if I wanted to um, you can see that that is a threaded end but I'll probably just push it in and then just uh, put a dab of solder at the end there crimp that and we'll be done so there we go old mate's new two-way radio that's it for AV Fridays guys I will catch you around the channel for weekend Saturdays tomorrow have a good one This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.